temperatures falling during the afternoon is unusual enough. Do it three Fridays in a row, and it's probably something we haven't seen in a long, long time. Meteorologist Joe Martucci here to talk to you about these falling afternoon temps that we've been seeing lately here. At Millville Executive Airport last Friday, we had a 61-degree high temperature at noon, and then we fell as we went into the afternoon here. And then two Fridays ago, we had a 61-degree high at noon. And then we fell as we went to the afternoon again here. Now, we won't be 61 degrees far high. High temperatures will be maybe 51 degrees instead here. But a strong northwesterly wind will bring these cooling temperatures as we go into the afternoon. Friday looks like this. We have sustained winds 15 to 25 miles an hour. So we'll be breezy out there. Good amount of sunshine during the day. Still fairly weak sun, though, so the winds and that colder air from that northwesterly wind will overpower the sun and drop us as we go again into the afternoon. Then as we go overnight, temperatures will weaken some here, especially inland. And then we're talking about a cold Saturday ahead. And yes, snow could be in the forecast here. I do have flurries possible for Saturday, mainly between 11 a.m. to about 6 p.m. here as we try to get the northern edge of this storm system that really passes through Virginia and North Carolina. But we could get a piece of it. The graph model is showing some snow our way here with temperatures generally in the mid-30s during that snow time, and then we rise a little bit late in the afternoon. Go over to the European model. Temperature's about the same here, but that precipitation shield is a little further to the south. So it's going to be awfully close. If you're in Cape May, I would say you know, your chances of seeing some kind of snow is a little greater than 50%, but you go up to Brick or Tom's River, you know, then we're talking about near zero. I do believe you are going to be dry. Here's a look at our inland planner. So temperatures at or even below average as we go into most of this weekend. Friday night's about 5 degrees below average or 10 degrees below average on Saturday. And then we're just about seasonable for Saturday night. And then we're mild on Sunday. But notice the wind direction on Sunday coming out of the southwest. Over at the shore, it's the same story. Saturday's definitely going to be the worst of the two days. But, you know, if you want to do something outside, it's perfectly fine. Maybe even seeing a couple of snowflakes down over at Washington Street Mall in Cape May. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast for you, show you what's going on beyond the weekend here. We do have a rainmaker that will come with wind as we go into Monday night into early Tuesday here. I do believe most of your Monday will be dry. We go into Tuesday, it's a strong northwesterly wind. Then as we go into our Wednesday here, March comes in like a lamb. And then on Thursday, it's a partly cloudy sky. Temperatures back above average here at the shore and the inland areas. If you go to our website, pressfac.com slash weather, you can get our free daily weather newsletter. You can be one of over 2,600 people. That's a part of it. Comes out every morning in your inbox.